All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another video of another really cool knife. Now, we're going to call this one an overview, and we'll talk about why in a minute. Uh, but this is our friends over here that you should say hello to, Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, and Login TV. Uh, let's get started, guys. So this is the Beyond EDC Terramundi. Uh, as you can see there, they, they have it written. They have different levels of knife. Terramundi is their high-end knife. Um, they have, I think it's the Asymmetrical and the Beyond EDC and then Terramundi. Um, and so this is the Terramundi, Beyond EDC Terramundi River Wolf designed by um, John Demko of Demko Knives, of course. Uh, really cool knife. Now, why is this an overview and not a full review? Because it's not available. This was a limited run knife. Now, you might be able to pick one up in the secondary. That's why I'm doing the video and to give you my take. Since you guys know, I like large knives and I cannot lie. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I like big, huge knives like, like this one, like the, uh, the Hoback Summit. And matter of fact, we'll leave that out and use it as a comparison here in a minute. This is a big knife, but it's not quite uh, Summit big. Now, this was a $300 knife. Uh, I'm reading off of Blade HQ, and I'll leave that down. It's uh, Bowler M390. It is an 8.75 overall knife, uh, inches, that is. Uh, the blade is 4 inches. Uh, the cutting edge is 3.5, and uh, it is 0.15 inches of blade stock. Drop point, flat. Um, I'm giving you the, the stats off the top. I don't know why I'm doing it that way, but I am. Um so it is a tall knife. The handle width is 1.16 inches. It is a seven ounce uh, knife. And uh, let's get it in hand, guys, and let's show you this thing. Now, it is this uh, kind of distressed or tumbled uh, titanium. It is rounded, chamfered off, as you can see there. Um, really nicely done. Now, you do have a milled pocket clip with a really interesting shape. Uh, you have about that much sticking out of your pocket, quite a bit. But again, it carried pretty well. I mean, it, it's not a thin, small knife, but um, I didn't have any problem carrying it. Seven ounces, yeah, for a lot of people, that's super heavy. Um, I got to tell you guys, it doesn't really bother me uh, to carry a heavy knife. It, it just doesn't. It's not my first choice all the time, uh, but it, it, it did work out. Now, this pocket clip, uh, good in and out of the pocket, has... Good retention and a nice ramp there. The screws are all, uh, you know, countersunk. You do have uh, pins on, on one side and screws on the other side, so really good. Uh, it's a flipper. Uh, you can see that flipper tab uh, does not have, well, it does have jimping. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the knife I just reviewed. It does have jimping, um, and it just pops out, guys. It is a big, heavy blade, and it just grabs your finger, comes right out. Now, um, as far as, um, uh, you know, the, the action, you can see, uh, you, yeah, if I could talk, you do have decent access to the lock bar. Could be a little bit better, but it's not a problem. No lock stick, no issues like that. Comes right open, goes down to your thumb, and then it just falls home. Now, uh, you do have to make sure it gets far enough past that detent, which is right there. Uh, that's not too bad, guys. I mean, it's about where it hits my thumb. Just go a little bit further, and then again, it drops. Now, you do have this high, flat grind. You can grab a hold of the blade, and barely, uh, not didn't do too good there, but you can grab a hold of the blade with your finger, your middle finger, and flick it open. Let's see if I can do it better. Well, not really. But uh, you do have a really good finger choil here with sharpening relief uh, and a big honk and drop point blade. I love it. Chamfered off, feels good. Now, my grip that I was using, because I like this thumb ramp right here, by the way, four finger knife back here. If you choke up, uh, you can go grab it like this, or you can do like this. This gives me this really great control. Either way does, really. I just think, I, I like a thumb ramp. You guys know that. So this feels good. This feels good. This feels great. Um, and it's just a big honk. And now it is, again, a little thicker on the blade stock, but not bad. Now, this thing is an 
absolute material destroyer. Now, this guy has been around to a bunch of people in the Apex group, but just forget about it, man. It does not matter how many people this one has been around. It wants to cut, okay? Uh, nice and clean, as you can see. And now I have cardboard everywhere, which is... Are you guys getting tired of me slinging cardboard everywhere? I don't know. Let me know. Um, and so, really good. Now, uh, a lot of times I don't like when they tell me where to put my fingers. Uh, but this feels good. I mean, it really... You have great control of the knife because of that. Uh, feels really nice. Uh, no real hot spots. Very, very nice in that way. And uh, let's see. We have dead centered on the blade centering as far as lock up uh, you do have a steel lock bar insert and it is at about a 45 or so no blade play and this is a big honking uh you know knife here guys and you can see comes in a really nice case there all right let's do our comparisons uh big knife you can see it takes up the majority of my uh, tray, but of course, uh, the summit hangs out of the tray. Uh, so there is your comparison to the summit. Uh, it's puny, guys. The uh, the river wolf is puny. No, it's it's not. It really isn't. Uh, and then you have our friend, the Ontario Rat One, uh, which is, believe it or not, slightly smaller, but barely. And the Rat Two is going to be quite a bit smaller as you can see. So really, really nicely done, guys. I mean, again, it's not available. So I'm doing this video more for those who are interested in the knife and want to hear my opinion and maybe want to go try to find one on the secondary market. Um, I, I understand that some of you are going to be like, it's not even available or it's way too expensive or whatever you're going to say. Um, but I try to do a high variety of, of knives uh, for everyone. And that is literally my goal is to be, um, you know, all things to everyone, if you will, as far as what I review so that everyone can get, um, you know, something out of it. So there you go, guys. That is, let's put these away. That is the Beyond EDC uh, Terramundi River Wolf. Uh, really, really cool knife. Let's put it on this awesome stand from Tim S., uh, we'll put this guy here, and that is the River Wolf. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me hear from you down in the comments on it. And again, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.